Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at the Eck Games Dr. Seuss Pinball Pack number two and two games that were released today Dr. Seuss's ABC and, of course, the classic Green Eggs and Ham. And I'll tell you more about them right after this. So that's right guys, today we're going to be talking all about the At Games Dr. Seuss Pinball Pack 2 made by Magic Pixel that will release for everybody as of tomorrow, March 31st, but I was lucky enough, At Games gave me an advanced copy of the Pinball Pack so I could check out Dr. Seuss ABC and Green Eggs and Ham early and share my thoughts with you. But before we get to that, I want to say thank you so much for checking out the video. Guys, I always appreciate your support, and if this is your first time to the channel you like what you see, go ahead, subscribe click the bell for notifications, all that YouTube stuff. You guys know I'm a pretty big fan of At Games and the At Games Legends Pinball. I think personally it's the premier home arcade pinball product that was released to retail in the past couple years because the machine just does so much. And one added feature, of course, is the fact that At Games are working with Magic Pixel to develop brand new pinball IPs, tables that have never been seen anywhere before in a virtual form that you can play on the At Games ecosystem. This is continued with the release of Dr. Seuss Pinball Pack 2. Pinball Pack 2 focuses on four more books from the Dr. Seuss series, but at this time, through early access, we're only getting two of those tables. One of which is Dr. Seuss ABC, which is a book I'm not personally familiar with, but I can say it's a great book for kids, and having a six-year-old and a one-year-old coming up, I'm looking forward to spending time possibly playing on this pinball pack with them and you know it's a learning experience then of course we've also got green eggs and ham which is the classic iconic dr seuss story i'm not that familiar with this one either of course i know what it is but it's just interesting seeing them take these known properties with a great family perspective and an educational basis and putting them into a pinball table and making very cool tables for people to go out and play. Now, of course, anybody that's ever owned any of the Act Games or Zachariah pinball tables before, you know what you're getting here. Act Games have played it pretty safe so far with the design of their initial IPs going all the way back to the Taito tables, where they've been simplistic retro games based on that Italian style that obviously Magic Pixel and Zachariah are known for. But what I do want to say is that At Games continues to listen to the consumers and as time goes on, changes have been implemented to these tables to make them better every single time they are released. We saw this with the release of the title packs. They were cool, but honestly a little disappointing. Moving on to the natural history packs, which were a major step in the right direction. And this continues on with the Dr. Seuss tables as they all keep getting better, making minor iterations that are just so important to improving the overall pinball experience. With these Dr. Seuss tables, we get great callbacks that are designed specifically for each of the books and it really exemplifies the experience. We get an interesting pinball game with a good rule set. Although it is classic tables, it doesn't have a lot of the new and flashy stuff you might see from modern day Stern or even Pinball FX. The physics are good and everything just works right. The thing that I'm really impressed with that At Games have super listened to the fans on was the fact that I did complain about, even though these are not the classic tables, they've moved to the for these, which is a huge improvement. Some of the actual back glass images, the uh, DMD images, all seem so generic when it comes to the Magic Pixel deluxe style games. They've added new elements to that, especially with Green Eggs and Ham, as you can see the spinning Green Eggs and Ham in the background as the scores are moving forward. Anyways, guys, I think that these tables are a step in the right direction, but the best thing for me to do is to show you some actual gameplay so you guys can decide for yourself. All right. Guys, here we go. Dr. Seuss's ABC on the Legends Core Max. I'm playing in the arcade mode now, the uh, you know widescreen mode. But you can also set it to play it like it's a real pinball table. So I played this on my Legends Pinball earlier, but I wanted to capture it a little cleaner while using the uh, 
Legends Core Max, so you guys can see my experience firsthand playing with the pinball buttons on the uh, Legends Gamer Pro and Dr. Seuss ABC. I will say this is a fairly easy scoring table from my experience on the uh, <laughs> actual ALP so far. Of course, I say it's a very easy scoring table when I shank it just like that. <laughs> it's colorful, it's bright, it looks pretty good. A, B, C, D. Alright, so we got ball save lit. Let's do some ramps here, if we can get it up that far. Or we'll just shank the ball, whatever. <laughs> There you go. Get up there. Do some stuff. Spot special. Five million. Up again. Give me some more points. Oh, there he is. ABC, one of the Grinch characters, puts it on the upper play field. And now we're playing pinball, baby. Now we're getting somewhere. I keep forgetting there's flippers in that upper play field up there. Oh, didn't make it. There you go. Yeah, throw it up there, man. Let's go again. Barber baby bubbles, rubber baby buggy bumper. Ah, I shanked it. Camel. B Kong has a camel toe. I don't know if many people know that. Get up there. You're not going to do anything, but get up there anyways. And I made the same shot again. Useless. I gotta remember to hit it with my uh, flipper that's up there next time. There you go. Oh yeah, I got flippers up there too. Alright, let's see what we damage we can do here. There you go. And then up in this stupid thing again. Anyways, very colorful table. Very fun. I shanked it. Shanked it yet again. So this is what the colorful video game mode looks like. Let's see if I can switch it up. Settings. So I'm going to go down here now. Change it to display mode. We've got morning. Classic. Default classic. And cabinet. So we're going to switch it to cabinet mode just to show you what it looks like. So this is cabinet mode. Hopefully this gives you a clearer picture of what the game actually will look like on the Legends Pinball. Shanked it. Oh, I forgot. Sometimes it's a little harder to see some of the 3D features with this game. Uh, when you're in cabinet mode. I've always said that about the Zachariah games. They're not necessarily meant to be played in cabinet mode a lot of times like there's upper play fields that are really cool but it's really hard to see them and how to access them they're more uh, designed for you know on a PC or on a like I was playing the first way either way they're still fun oh I forgot my upper flipper see not paying attention. Oh, you shanked it again, Mike. Shanked it again. Terrible. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's Dr. Seuss ABCs. The easier of the two games. Let's check out the other one.
Okay guys, so we're going to be checking out Green Eggs and Ham here. This is on the Legends Core Max, so it's coming at you in 1080p, hopefully. Uh, this is the classic arcade mode. This is the default when you try to play it on the Core Max. It also has a cabinet mode, which I'll show you in a little bit. This is also what it's going to look like if you play it on the Legends Core itself. However, it will be in 720p. Alright, let's get started with the game. <laughs> That's not a good start. <laughs> For you guys that are familiar with the Zachariah tables, uh, well, we just started a mode that was relatively easy. I've had trouble doing it on the Legends uh, Core Max using my Legends Game uh, Gamer Pro earlier today. And shot's a little harder for me than on the ALP itself. So for this mode, we got to shoot the outside ramps, which is challenging, bro. I can get that ramp, no problem. Miss that one, though. And then you can also... There's a mode next where you're going to have to shoot drop targets up in the house. So we got to get up to the upper house. But we'll score some points here for the time being. And then shank the ball. <laughs> oh, doctor. Alright, ball two. And then the next ball, I'll show you what the cabinet mode looks like on the Legends Gamer Core Max. Give me it back, baby. All right, we gotta hit at least one of these ramps, or not. Well, we've started the uh, campaign mode again here. I'm gonna try to hit the orbits, baby. It's just uh, <laughs> I have trouble with these angles. Get out of there! Send me it back. That's right. That's what I want. There you go, I finally hit the orbit. Hit the other orbit. Now I gotta put it back in the hole where we started the other thing. And I shanked it. <laughs> I didn't get there. All I had to do was put it back in the same hole that I started the campaign mode and I would have closed that up and got awarded 10 million points. Alright, so now I want to show you we're going to go down here, we're going to go to settings, and we're going to switch this. Display mode. Yeah, there it is, cabinet mode. So then we'll get out of here. So this is what it's the actual table looks like on your table itself. And this is how we play this final ball. So it definitely looks quite a bit different than playing it on the classic arcade mode, doesn't it? Lock is lit. Give me it back, baby. That's right. Be nice to me. Yeah, there we go. Campaign mode again. There we go. So now I gotta shoot the two ramps again. Once I do that, put it back in that place. I'll score, I think it's 10 or 12 million points. There we go, there's one. Oh, I thought I was going to get lucky with the second one. Alright, let's see if I can put it back the other side now. Oh, missed it. There we go. Hit the right flashing hole. There we go! We got it! I would not like we hit the campaign mode. I'm so happy with that. Like them anywhere. All right, now if we put it back in there, we can hit the next campaign mode and we gotta get up to the house. All right, get the ball back under control. You'll notice the green ball there. And then I shanked it. But we'll throw it to this guy. Ball one is lit. Ball one is locked. One is locked. Lock three to get multi-ball. Godzilla multi-ball. I'm just kidding. It's green eggs and ham multi-ball. 
Hey, buddy, grab my balls again. There we go. Thank you. See if we can get multi-ball going at least. Oh, I missed it. Shit. Lock is lit, Lock is lit baby. All right. Of course, now I can do this one when I don't want to. There you go. Grab it. Why wouldn't you grab my balls? Son of a bee. <laughs> oh, that's it. At least I did okay for my final run. Anyways, guys, that was my quick look at the Dr. Seuss Pinball Pack 2. The first two games, anyways, Dr. Seuss ABC and, of course, Dr. Seuss Green Eggs and Ham. Again, this is a continuation on the excellent path at Games have gone in their partnership with Magic, Magic Pixel, developing brand new pinball IPs in the digital format for us to experience on the Legends ecosystem. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below what do you think of these new Dr. Seuss pinball tables from At Games Magic Pixel. Are they a winner? Do they make you happy to be an owner of an At Games Legends pinball machine or an At Games Legends pinball connected ecosystem, whether it be through the Core, Core Max, or ALU, whatever the hell you play it on? Let me know in the comments down below. Once again, I want to say thank you so very much for watching. This is Michael B. the Game Genie. I'll talk to you guys next time.